So if you go on the internet and type 1 billion dollar rupee, you will come across a series of video over which people are going gaga and apparently billionaires follow this routine and I thought why not give this a try. So the first thing was waking up early. In general, I wake up around 7 to 8. So this was not at all a problem for me. I am both a morning person and also a night owl. And waking up to the sun is always a treat to my eye. So the next thing was recalling your dreams. This is again something which I've been doing for years. I am a very vivid dreamer. I dream every single day. Like literally no kidding every single day. So I tend to recall my dreams every day but not necessarily in this dark room. And once I'm out of my bed and out of my dreamy zone, it is time to make the bed. Which is I think very self-explanatory. So then comes finishing a glass of water and I won't kid, this was a challenge for me because I am a sipper and not a drinker and finishing one whole glass of water was a bit too challenging and I would say it is not my cup of tea. Then came 20 minutes of meditation. I am a 5 minute meditation person so I had no clue how will I ever finish this session. So I just put on a timer for 20 minutes and tried to focus and just somehow calm my mind down and breathe and try to meditate. But I don't know how much this was real meditation but at least I tried. Then came 2 minutes of intense exercise which saved me from working out for 30 minutes and looking all tired and sweaty and like a boiled tomato. Next up is cold shower about which I won't be saying much because I have lots and lots of things to say about it later in the video and these are just the products which I use on the daily basis. Next up is making a cup of tea. So that day my mom actually made the tea because I completely forgot to tell her that I had a video to shoot. So I thought instead of wasting it, I just reheated it and brought that to my room to enjoy it with my journal. So writing in my journal is something which I've been doing for 4-5 years every single day and I just love the fact that I am able to write my thoughts, my dreams, my goals, like everything in my diary and I find it a safe place. Let me know if you want to see a flip through of my journal or you would like a plan with me. So this day I was writing 3 things which I wanted to achieve, to feel and to be. So those were, I wanted to complete a part of share market, work on my art commission and fill up a form. I also wrote three things which I wish I could fulfill. Then there was three things to be. This is something which was very cheesy for me. And at last, three things which I wanted to feel. Okay, so a mini update. I am extremely, extremely hungry but I cannot eat until and unless I finish all the tasks from this list which is kind of sad. My sleepiness is around 50%. Like, I am tired but I am not so tired that I cannot do my work. So I guess it's alright. I'm feeling quite fresh and productive. Another thing is that this routine has so many things to do that my actual work is kind of postponing and it's giving me anxiety because I have to finish everything and then I'll be able to start my work. So I don't know. Next up was reading for 30 minutes. So basically I was very late for this day I was shooting so I thought instead of reading a storybook or a newspaper let me just read a passage from my cat prep. So I think I was reading about a philosophical essay that day and I thought it would be the best utilization of my time because this routine basically means that you are being your most productive self. After finishing my reading, I made myself a green smoothie which I have two to three times in a week so basically in this smoothie you give everything you have in your fridge 
I added some frozen bananas, some lettuce, you can also add spinach or kale if you have and then I just blended it all together with some water or you can add milk and once it is all blended I add some other things to fill it up like oats, chia seeds, sesame seeds, you can add other fruits if you want to this day I did not have anything else so I just added these and the smoothie is all good to go once you blended them all together I should not have taken that cold shower. Hey guys, quick update. I have slight fever and my throat is paining. So, like I don't think it's coronavirus. It's because of the cold shower which I've been taking for a few days. But, this is not good. On a scale of 1 to 5, my productivity today was around 3.5 to 4. I think it's because of my deteriorating health. Will I do this $1 billion routine ever again? Maybe. The best part of this routine. First, I loved that it had a 20 minute slot for meditation. For me, I always skip meditation. It's like, hua to acha hai, nahi hua to bhi chalega kind of a thing on my to do list. So, I am very happy that it had a slot for it. Though I felt 20 minutes is a bit too much for me, so I will be reducing it to 10 minutes. And the second thing which I loved the most was journaling while sipping your morning tea. This is something I will definitely incorporate in my morning routine. The worst part of this routine? Well, it's the cold shower and I'm never ever doing that again. Like seriously advantage of having this routine well this is a routine which is very structured so you know what you have to do and it's like already made up for you so you don't have to think like what will i do next so i think it brings structure to your morning and hence your day will be starting with a good note disadvantage of this routine well i felt this routine was too long for someone like me i'm not sure if you have that much time in the morning but i was really getting anxious that i have to complete so many things before actually starting my day and i am a person who is not really accustomed to do so many things in the morning i do all of this like meditation, exercise, everything at night. Even the planning part I do at night, the journaling. So doing everything in the morning was a bit too intimidating for me. Well, will following this routine make you a billionaire? No, absolutely not. Come to your senses. We are normal people. Then, even after all this, why are people actually following this? Okay, so what I understood by following this routine is, this is a pre-structured routine and once you follow it, First, it gives you a structure. Second is once you are taking all these things in the morning, you you have this kind of psychological effect. It is kind of like a snowballing effect actually, where your brain is kind of getting accustomed to having your life together. I think this actually makes you feel that you are in command and you can actually make your day fruitful, worthwhile. And this is what it takes to become a billionaire. You have to be motivated, productive, and in command and always positive and doing things, producing things and yeah, I am not following this routine but I will definitely incorporate many things from this into my daily life because I really feel this will have a positive impact on my life and I will let you know if I ever become a billionaire. Till then be happy and safe. Get hold of your life, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you love my content. You can scroll and check out my other content if you wish. And thank you if you are still watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!